I've heard a rumour that there is a sun in the sky somewhere and it will come out one day and warm this up. Still, it's inclement and when it's inclement, we shall do inclement things. Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, and thanks for joining me on my channel. Today I'm going to build a 2 meter 70 centimeter uh, dipole antenna uh, for installation in a loft or perhaps uh, outside, but it's uh, made of a couple of coat hangers and some strip connector, so it's not necessarily the best for, for outside use. But certainly if you've got a loft space or you can put it somewhere um, where it's not going to get wet, perhaps in a garage, I don't know. Um, but this is the good thing. Simplistic antenna build. I'm going to try to do it in real time. Enjoy. Thanks very much for visiting. We need two coat hangers, I think. So the other two can go. Right, before I start this, I'm going to get a cup of coffee. Bear with me. Mm. Oh, lovely. Right. A two and 70 centimetre, so a two metre, 70 centimetre, antenna simple quick easy we just need two coat hangers we need one side to be 17 centimeters for the 70 centimeter band so we'll cut it long we'll cut it long at 20 ish one just need to bend the coat hanger out straight ish my technical term straightish. Okay, and to make this easier, we'll measure 50 centimeters on this one and cut it because it's slightly long 51 centimeters. Okay. So there's one part of our coat hanger. We'll do exactly the same on the other one. Just to make it easy. We'll copy it. So here we go. Right. We just need to bend this around now. And we can do this by hand or we can get a pair of pliers. Let's get a pair of pliers, let's make it nice and neat. strip connector. We want the bend at the bottom to be the same size as our strip connector. Okay. Um, so that's what we'll do. Magic. Pass it through. Okay, I need to make that a little bit better, a bit tighter. Okay. 
So what we need to do then is cut off our free. And we need to do exactly the same on this one. I don't know how much I'm in the picture here. So here's our two halves of diaper. Okay. Doesn't really get any quicker, does it? See where we're going with this, can't you? Right, piece of plastic, or in this case, this plastic, but you could use wood. Uh, and what you do is you literally just stick this either with a screw or something into the board. I'm going to use a hot glue gun. Bear with me. Or perhaps some super glue. Let's see if it will work with uh, a bit of super glue. And I'll hot glue gun it on afterwards perhaps. And I could also, if I wanted to, use a, a tie wrap. I just make a hole on each side of the material and tie wrap it on. Let's see if this works. This is the catalyst. Don't think it's gonna necessarily stick particularly well. Okay. Oh, well, okay. And I think what I'll do is I'm gonna put a tie wrap through the uh, through the board as well. Keep it in. It's gonna be do. So, what's the next thing to do? We need to solder some wire. A bit of an extra length. I just sewed the bolts. I 
nice load of salt. Yep. Making sure they're well undone. Should be able to put that in. I think there should be enough room in there. There you go. It would be tight but that's the whole point So just to take this so that you see, okay, to this one, shield to this one, it's not doing anything, coffee, still got to drink it, put this uh, coax at uh, 90 degrees from it and we'll stick it down with a little bit of hot glue and then we'll uh, Best of you because believe it or not, that's it. There we go, it's done, it's finished. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now um, and I shall come back to it in a few moments with the SWR and all of this cleaned up and uh, we'll see if it works. The only thing I'll leave out is my nips because uh, I might need to chip the ends off, bear with me. Okay, this is far from being perfectly scientific, but uh, let's uh, actually let me let me show you what we've done. I'll follow the cable around. It's not a brilliant high ground, you. But there's our aerial. Okay, got it in the uh, horizontal plane um, at the moment. Uh, not brilliantly done, but it will it will. Do for this demonstration obviously you do a lot better job than this when you put it up in the in the loft or outside um, I'm running off a little handheld a little handy on low power and let's zoom in so you get the all there is to know so one four five okay up one four five SWR of 1.2. Let's uh, change frequencies so that you can oops, so you can see this. What should we go to? Five. Well, that would do. One eight five hundred ish. Yeah, five hundred. Can you still see that? Yes, you can. 1.16 so the, the the area could be snipped a little bit it's a little long uh, but not overly long it's amazing let's uh, see if we can get both of those in in shot it would have been a lot better if I thought about this Okay, let's um, let's go down. Wrong button again. Let's go down to the Gloucester repeater. Whether I'll open it from here is a, another matter. But I'll have a go. Nope. Okay, that's fair enough. I didn't think I would. Um, it was worth a go. 
Okay, let's go up to um, the UHF bands. So we're now on one four, sorry, four three three forty two. 1.08. I think it says it all. Very simple, very quick, very easy aerial to build. Let me just pick it up again. Just plunk it in your loft. I'll get the tape measure. I'll just show you the length of the elements. 49, no, 50, 50 centimetres exactly, nine and a half inches, uh, 19 and a half inches, and the other one, 17.5. It's the same on the other side. Yep, 50, and 17.5. Just as a, a passing note, I've just thrown it very quickly outside and wedged it into the part of the pergola. And I'll just take it back, wind it down so you can see. Not particularly well done. There's my handheld and uh, BSWR meter. And that's on CG at the moment. Couldn't open it a minute ago and... I can now open it. Not brilliant, but uh, I could never open it from here before on a handheld. I'm quite pleased with that.